Okay, so what's that? Just like a slight whistle sound. Don't worry about it. See, you say don't worry about it, and then I'm worried it's like an actual train whistle or something like one of those wooden train whistles. <laughs> Also, I feel like I just need to point this out now. There was just an advert on the telly then. We were like Einstein in the bathtub. And even though it was like clearly modeled over an actual person, like the head was very much like a CGI thing. But look, do you remember that picture that went around the internet ages back? The realistic Mario. Yeah. It looked like that, but Einstein. No, like, no. <laughs> this is... This should not be shown before the watershed. Kids will have the nightmares. <laughs> I mean, there's one way to find out. Rebecca, try and find out the advert and watch. If you have nightmares, let us know. Uh, uh, no. And that, that's our one Rebecca is a child joke out, out of the way already. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've got to do it if the young can't be here this week. I've got to do it. Yeah, you have to take over. Exactly. It's the running joke of this session. Um, that's Saturdays. permission if I've ever heard of it. That's permission. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, way, greetings everyone and welcome back to the Dark Tides of Room Terror. I've just... Okay. St I just need to check something then because I got thrown off by something. I was watching a video earlier and because I was watching that in the same window as Roll20. When I checked here, it's saying, oh, you know, recording Chrome. Instead of saying Dark Tides of Room Terror, it's saying Michael's not paying 160 for McDonald's Fanta. <laughs> 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 They're going, why is that still open? I don't want the video to be open on a giant shouty Irishman. <laughs> I'm sorry, Zach's gotten me addicted to those videos recently. <laughs> anyway, last time on Dark Tides of Rune Terror. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was all that happened last time. <laughs> There's no dogs in Room Terror Santa! <laughs> no! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. So, <laughs> last time. <laughs> last time, uh, you went to the market to try and get yourself a caravan and some other means. Some people bought rum, some people bought food. Kuiper bought himself a lifetime of regret with seeing some Solari. Uh, our little friend Pinko here, the little Poro. Urquartz bought himself a gemstone statue. Don't question. Is it technically a five finger discount if you don't have fingers? I mean, wouldn't it be a two-huff clicker discount, then? I suppose so. <laughs> no! <laughs> and you also found out that the person selling the caravans had a bit of a history with Mariah. And by history, I mean Mariah stole one of his caravans and converted it into her gun. And after buying a caravan and a couple of eel nooks, you travelled a couple of days. You saw a giant troll who you led to the a dead mammoth. And then you found at Ragged's Reach Well, it was you already expected it to be in shambles and ruin from the sails. But you also found out that they are most likely keeping your friend George here. And they are beating him up for information. And the lorry, or was it Delris? Delris was controlled at the time. Yeah. Said that she would go up to the folks and demand an audience with Singed. And you watch her walk off. She comes up to the first person. She makes sure that none of them are looking at you while she does so. And you see her being led off towards the other end of the village. And it is at that point where I have to <coughs> do this. And that is our village. Ooh. 
and I would like to, you all to place yourselves, if you can, down here at like the bottom middle. Waffleberg would, but you never actually have given Waffleberg any sort of sheet on here for him to do that, so you still have it. Oh, yeah, hang on. Where's the Waffleberg talking? Where's the Waffleberg talking? There's the Waffleberg talking. I still don't have the color. I still haven't uploaded the color version yet, so. Wait, there's a colored version? I think there might be a colored version. We'd have to ask uh, Rana when she gets back. Uh. <laughs> You have control of the the Waffleberg token. Uh, who's not on at the moment? Uh, Pitu isn't because I think Rana is still BRB. So Pitu and a Pinko is not on. Yes, I am. <laughs> Pinko is in the middle of the village. <laughs> <laughs> I never said I was at the carriage when it stopped. <laughs> People think I don't jump off shit. Well, I mean, if you wanted to start her, I'm going to have to roll some rolls. Uh, roughly one, two, three, four, five rolls. Just to see if they could spot anything up with this shady looking poro. I mean, to be fair, I say that, and then I look at the stats, and oh boy. <laughs> uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh. Well, this bod's well. <clears throat> this bod's very well. Um, Make a deception there, Pinko. Let's see if you can get them to think you are just a normal little poro. <clears throat> oh, um. God damn it, Discord, go away. Ah. Uh, da, 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 da. Hey, Dandy Beyond, where are you? Deception. Boop. What did I get? 15. Damn it. <laughs> that was with a plus 8. Mm -hmm. uh, so. I hate these rolls. <laughs> you trick the big bruiser over here. And you trick this guy down here. However, this guy here and the two guys in front of you, they are just eyeing you and being like, yeah, why, that's, why is that Poro wearing a hat? Why has it got funny straw coming out of it? Uh, 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 trust that one. Go on, off with you, little scamp. <laughs> Through the trees. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you're going to the trees. Make me a stealth as you're going to the trees. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Time for them to make some uh, perceptive voice. Perception is wisdom, if I recall right, so. Yes. If I recall right, this is just the same stats as their intelligence as well. So, let me see. No, 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 no. Minus one. Yep, you. I duck. am officially invisible. <laughs> over the trees and everyone thinks you're gone. Yay. You fall down there. <laughs> you fall down there and watch his Mariah running around in circles. Watching you fall down Doris there, you would have heard just like. Oh, go on. Watching Doris go off, just like, that was very much more peaceful than I thought it would be. Waffleberg just shakes his head as he's delving through his pack. Yeah! 95% certain that uh, shit be shit. Uh, ten percent certain that maybe, hey, conversations will happen and reason will win the day. But uh, let's be honest here. He, he takes out uh, what appears to be his welder's mask that you have seen before, but there's like tubes to it now um, that sort of attached to something in the pipe as he puts it on. Um, but uh, let's let's be honest. The fact of the matter is, there. 
we're not really going to get out of this without killing everybody. Uh, Kuiper. Yep. You would know, since you were for your familiar, you heard and smelled the blood. Well, you heard the beating and smelled the blood. You would know that was coming from this giant shack up at the top left. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, just for clarification as well, even though they look like they're all in one piece, these shacks, in reality, they're pretty... They're missing a lot of pieces to them. There's a lot of roofs, tiles missing and such. Basically, they're Ooh. ruins. But this was the Easy best map I could it. find. <laughs> so, how are, how are you all going to go about this? Also, you did hear some commotion coming from up here. Um, Before Waffleberg actually does anything, um, we can see all of these guards, right? Like, we know the location of all of these guys. Uh, yeah, you'd see them... Even the ones that are kind of hidden, you see him, like, this guy would be patrolling back and forth. So you'd see these edges, like, here and there. Yeah, so there, there, there are, in total, there's just kind of, like, multiple thugs, and then the two larger, sort of, juggernaut-esque dudes. Yeah. Um, uh, you would know those to be... Uh, Wolfberg, you don't even need to roll for this. You wouldn't know those to be chem folks. Yeah. I was trying to think of the name there. Um, Wolfberg's kind of just looking. Um, besides them, is there evidence of any other high-ranking Zonite? Uh, make me an investigation. Because... Kim thugs are normal for Singe, and so too are normal thugs, but uh, the fact that there is another Kim Baron does it on him. Investigation. You're looking around, trying to spot any others, try to listen out for anything else. As far as you can tell, it's just the uh, normal folks and the Kim folks around here. The only other people that have been through here are Singed, who has clearly gone on ahead. Uh, Delris, who has also gone on ahead. And two sets of footprints, one of which just looks like normal fairly audience footwear. You assume that to be George. The other one, tiny little uh, footprints, which you definitely re recall to be Umpus. That is fair. Okay, cool. Are we thinking of being sneaky, half sneaky, or not at all? We are significantly outnumbered. Um, if we can make it to the hut to get George, they don't have really any hostage situation over us except for the sisters. Um, mm. We may have to do this very stealth-wise uh, overall our lives can tell there are just thugs uh, although the uh chem lot that'll that will be a bit of a tougher challenge uh, think normal normal thugs but like steroided um oh, that's I also... ask because uh, I, I'm okay at sneaking but I can also make a lot of noise over there and he just points in, in the distance that could be useful. Also, I should note something as well, because then I just remembered. Uh, with that investigation, Waffleberg, you'd heard that there was a Ken Baron in leagues with Singe for this, but you don't see any evidence of him here. Oh, okay, that is a bit more worrying now um <laughs> how close are we to the world room from here uh from where they took delris you'd assume that the world ruins over here on the other side of the map just like just a bit beyond these two guys is there any heavy mechanical equipment is there any um like extraction or or any uh machines um around uh, make me a perception. Uh, 
Le. Yes. I am taking this time to be one with shadows. Okay, so you have until I move, I am invisible or make an action. Okay. So I'm just I'm scouting it out, you know. I'm making plans. That's fine. Uh, Evil dead. What for you? Okay. Mm-hmm. With that perception, you don't see anything in the actual village itself. That'd be like large mechanical constructs out. You see what you think to be a more fortified version of a caravan off to the side. You just assume that's be how they've transported themselves here. And you see, Where? Oops, sorry. And you see just beyond, towards the cave as well, what seems to be a large metal box. Hmm. Like how large? Like crate large, building large, uh, very large, possibly yeti large. I'd say that yes, the, that one. Very large, possibly yeti large. Yeah. Um, Waffleberg looking at all of these. Where exactly is the caravan? The caravan would be off the map to the left, roughly off the middle map of the village to the left. Okay. Um. I should probably mark that on the map. Give me a sec. Uh, I would say... Do you see this little shack here? Yeah, the little shack. It's kind just of to the large. left of that. Okay. Um, these have... those care, the, Because those are not caravans, it, it'd be safe to assume they have levers and switches, right? Like they 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 don't use like it's not like a car with a key. It's more like just like you can pull some levers and stuff like that, like normal Zonite machinery. Uh, you'd assume so, yes. Given this definitely okay. looks Zonite. Um, and we can see them from where we are. Um, to that, uh, Waffleberg will look at um, Moonman. Uh, Moonman, you can make noise, yes? Um, yes. If need be, you can also turn things on with switches, yes? Yes, why do you ask? Caravan, controlled by switches and levers, if you can at least operate it and send them off running in case the going gets tough, it'll cause distraction, yes? Hmm, I like it. Yes. Also, at the same time, Waffleberg's going to take out the firebomb uh, that now has like a little light switch on it. Waffleberg's going to plant this someplace. He'll tell you when he does. He's not sure where he wants to plant it yet. There's a lot of good choices, uh, but we should probably do this stealthily. I get the feeling that something's not entirely right. I almost feel like there should be more. Hmm. Understand them. But yes. Um, for the moment, though, we stealth, yes. Yes, I will say the loud noise in case uh, in case somebody looks in our direction. East. And for safety of Delos at the moment, uh, they would be best as well. And if she is talking, the loud noise might cause singe to... Mm. So we should wait until we absolutely need it. You know, it's... Okay, so, so if you are planning to stealth around, I'm going to need some stealth rolls. God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at stealth. <laughs> oh! <laughs> So I don't, I, I shouldn't have disadvantage. For some reason, it's never left my sheet. Um, so it is the natural 20. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, because the bracket is the one where it goes off the thingy, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I need to, I don't think Rana's back yet, so I'll roll for one, two. I don't, I don't think there's any way for two could fail stealth. I mean, not once or a thing, but... 
That's fair. Two gets twenty-two. Yep, two <laughs> yeah, is no. one with the snow. No. Uh, Stilaro just like the Poro. <laughs> Stellaro will look to you and be like, "Do you want me to stay behind with the caravan just to make sure, or should I have... stay behind with the stay behind with the caravan?" Okay. Stellaro will exit uh, the map to stay behind with the caravan. So, Wafferberg, as you and Pitu just slowly make your way forward, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think how best to do this. She's already done it. She's just shouted, "I'm good at stealth." Oh, yes, that, yeah, going, that works. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I'd said that you two are probably like up here at the, at this wall or something. Just make it, try to sneak around. Mariah's just like run up here. God, I'm good at stealth. Kaipers have to run up, close her mouth. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna have to roll some. I'm gonna have to roll a perception. Yeah. Oh, meets and beats, unfortunately. Oof. Or does the stealth beat the perception? No. <laughs> I mean, either way, he's beaten Mariah's. That's true. So he'll just um, walk along here like, what was that? Hey, uh, uh, what are you two doing here? Loud oh, noise. This wait. way, heard for miles. <laughs> so, hiding in the little trees where that man stands. Is it going to do it? Yay. I am casting Cleo of Daggers where that gentleman okay. stands. Right here. I'm staying in the trees, though, although that does break my invisibility, so my stealth is now just my stealth roll. I'm no longer invisible. So, what's the, make... what's the thing for Cloud of Daggers, is it? It's uh, dexterity, right? I mean, yes. is it like a 10-foot square area? Or... It's, it it so, is a... It's a 5-foot yeah. cube. Okay. It's a five foot cube. They don't actually take damage till the beginning of the next turn in combat, but because this is in combat, they'll be taking damage. Yeah. So it would be like that then. Um, it's also <laughs> very loud. Mm -hmm. So he kind of just. So hits. basically, two loud noises has happened. <laughs> Dylan and trees. That's unfortunate. <laughs> we can't that is. The same time. That is very unfortunate. The difference is one loud noise now has a dude screaming to death. Yep. yep. So I'm not going to even roll for a couple of these guys just because they would easily be able to see this. Oh yeah. It's quite literally in their vision. Like three of them can hey, see Hey, but that gives you time to run back behind the building, you sons of bitches. So Get back there. These three just look over this guy. God, what are you lot doing? Here? And they're just seeing this cloud of daggers just swarming <coughs> as he just starts to scream. So he is taking 16, 16. damage. It's just Fairfax <laughs> gonna drag Mariah behind the building too. That's one spell slot down. Oh. Yeah, he's flailing and... and screaming as he's trying to get out of the blades. Uh you're dragging Mariah behind the building as well? Yep. <laughs> So, with disaster just about averted, for now, <laughs> these guys are going to make a slight approach towards what's happening here. Just be like, what the hell? Well, obviously, try to keep out of the range of daggers. As yeah. this is going on, Waffleberg is taking off his coat and he is exchanging it for his older coat his brown uh torn sort of dust coat um and he's exchanging it for that um and also, you can now yep. you can now see that the tube's kind of attached to a thing on the back i should also state you watch this guy exit the building that he was leaning against to see what was mm. happening to i would they wouldn't <laughs> <clears throat> Because they're on the other side of the building. 
Well, that said, this is like ruins and shacks. They'll be able to see you like through some holes. But you would definitely be able to see your exit, Pinko. You definitely can, from where you are. And they think that is our time to move. Even though they're not going to be making a perception on the cloud itself, because they don't need to, they see that. I'm going to make them roll with disadvantage to see if they spot a pinko. Pinko in the trees. The first one doesn't. The second one doesn't. The third one won't. The fourth one won't. So none of us spot you, pinko. Ta -da. The guy in the cloud is too averted. distracted. He's too distracted by keep trying to keep his yeah. insides in. Yeah, the cloud is gone now after they're all behind the buildings. Okay, so. <coughs> uh, Patu and Waffleberg can keep their current stealth rolls because they technically never broke stealth. Kuiper and Mariah, you can roll me two new stealths if you want. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I hate this character. <laughs> so, Mariah finally gets the idea. Starts to be nice and sneaky. Kuiper, you let go of her mouth. You're kind of relieved. They just turn around and kind of trip in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't notice because he's too distracted with the guy that bleeded still. It's like... And pro probably crawls the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is your next move? Uh, we can't really do too much. Uh, if we continue right, they'll see us because that's a free line of sight. Um, and if we continue... Because you know, they're all looking this way now. Yeah. yeah. Down here, down here, up here. Hopefully. Oh, there's two guys there. <laughs> yeah, I can tell there. that this guy is clearly distracted with his mate. Kuiper just, just starts... <laughs> Yeah, Waffleberg will go ahead and head <laughs> with Kuiper. Okay. Uh, Pitu, uh, it will do so. Raya, what about you? Uh, she'll follow. Okay. I will have Pitu go this way just purely because her speed faster, meaning Mariah can get to the there we go yep so these guys by now they've got around the mate to try to figure out what was happening uh let me just back i'm moving to there. i'm moving to that tree i want under that tree <laughs> Cool. Yep, no one spots you. So yeah, you're at the tree. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> yeah, no little one Buddha you. Not even just this like guy spots you. The tree. He's just like <laughs> just right next around, to me, looking around like, where the hell did those come from? <clears throat> the moment everybody realizes these bandits are idiots, they should have been looking for a tiny little brown hat the entire time. <laughs> little tiny brown hat that he shooed off earlier. <laughs> yeah. We're all good. Oh, good! They're all clustered together? Yeah, they're all trying to patch up their injured mate. Cloud of daggers. And there's my second spell slot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> go, 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 go! <laughs> Fuck them all! <laughs> We're so gonna we're gonna center it. As as beautiful as this is, mm -hmm. this is going to be the second time this happens. What? They probably have an alarm. Yeah. Ah, oh, never mind then. I mean, still do it. 
still do it, but I'm I'm just <laughs> like they will probably I have a workaround though if that happens. So if you still want to do it, do it. I have a plan. I do. I want them all to be shredded to shriveling then, little bits. <laughs> then do it. I still have a plan. I have a Waffleberg plan. Yay. <laughs> that poor man he's probably just been shredded bill i mean you say that and you're not wrong oh so everyone they just start all oh, three of those guys they just start floating around going oh it's back it's back and the original guy he just falls over in shredded clumps <gasps> bill <laughs> And at that point, they're now ro I was about to say they're now rolling with advantage, given that this has happened twice. Yeah. Aside from the guys that were in the cloud, for obvious reasons, they're with disadvantage. Which sucks given one of them got on that 20. Oh, uh, yeah, somebody got on that 20. Uh, 16, 17. So that would be a 16 for that one. Uh, roll me another stealth pinker. Yeah. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. boop. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so one person has spotted you. Uh, another one got an at 20. And the other one didn't. Unfortunately, the one that spotted you, and you can see him from where you are, Pinko. This one. No. This, this one. He just looks at you, just pointing your little hoof over to where the cloud of daggers is. Goes, it's the fucking Poro! Drops the cloud of daggers. <laughs> he will just pull something Run! off his belt. <laughs> he will just pull something off his belt, pull a pin out of it, and you all hear a loud alarm go out through the village. I mind sliver him, and then I run. <laughs> yeah, he he has to take any time right past it. this guy. Fuck that bastard. I'm gone. I'm out of this town. <laughs> well, I mean, if you went past him, he would get an attack of opportunity on you. That's okay. <laughs> so The others are still on the ground trying to keep the blood in. So he's got, he's taking some damage from that. And this guy gets an attack of opportunity, which is a plus four to hit. Uh-oh. <clears throat> <laughs> no. <laughs> he just kind of just tries to swing for you and you kind of duck under it as you just run out. So Patu and Mariah, because they're at the front and the back of the building, both would have just seen a little brown and white fluff ball. Just, <laughs> just out. I'm gone. They have just Aww. it off. This is why I don't like fluffy things. Hey, but think of it. I like fluffy things. But they now know it was a Poro. And they saw what direction I ran. <laughs> it's also at this point where I'm going to have to ask people for initiatives. Okay. That's fine. You don't know where we are. We could probably wait for it to die down. Although that might take a long time. <laughs> this is just quackers. Turn for them. Uh, Nothing what, higher than five today, by the way. <laughs> oh. Hang on, I just need to add these two to the turn order because of that. Mariah got a six. Waffleberg got a nat 20, so I'll go stick you straight up at 30 for now. Uh, I will roll for two in a second. I just need to roll for these guys. Yeah. Third X is just a flat 20. Third X is plus one. Uh, they got a 15. And they got a seven. Uh, let me just check quickly. Pinkos is higher, so Pinko goes up to 
then I just need to roll for a platoon now. So I don't think Rana's back yet from getting dog food. Uh, 13. So descending Waffleberg. It would be you first. Alrighty. See the issue, as much as I as much as I love the idea, the issue is that if they are all going to chase after Pinko, they are all heading to where yeah, we need to go. Um Are they? Yes, we need to go to the right, don't we? Uh no, the caves up He's your friend George is being held up here at the top left. Oh, okay. I've been I've been mistaken. Never mind then. They are going the right way. Um, I thought he was being held up here. Um, so that's yeah, on me. Uh, that's what I get for only coming to half a session last time. Um, <laughs> I mean, I pointed it out earlier too, but <laughs> stop it. <laughs> The only issue is just the two individuals. Um, does this building have a side door? or a... Uh, No, it's a front door here. Does it but have a window? Given how damaged it is, you may be able to squeeze through a gap there. Nice. Um... Okay, cool. Yeah, Waffleberg will, if they're all looking <laughs> at Pinko, Waffleberg will just go and slip into the building. Yeah. Okay. So, are you trying to slip in via the gap in the side? No, he'll go through the front door if they're all looking the opposite way. All right. I will make a perception with that guy at this advantage. Uh, make me a stealth while doing so. I am currently wearing my Zarnite clothes. That is true. Yeah. Make it with yeah. advantage. Okay, cool. Uh, so then that would be an 18. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, that's a 22. Yeah, 22 uh, definitely wins that one out. He kind of glances over at yeah, you, sees the tubes, and just thinks it's where the camp folks. So, yes, you are nicely hidden in a building now. Uh, is there anything in this building? Uh, or is it just... just seems to be a charred, ruined building. Doesn't really seem to be holding much. Cool. Uh, while in the building, Waffleberg is going to hide the. Uh, he is going to place um, the bomb with the switch, uh, the gap that you had mentioned with the switch pointing outward. Um, and then Waffleberg is will end his turn there. Okay. It is the folks' turn. Uh, as your cloud of daggers ended at this point. Yeah, no. When he when he buggered off and then got past them, it was over. Okay, so I need to see what these guys' movement speed is. Because these three are definitely going to be trying to charge after the borough. Be like, get it. That is okay. Thirty. Uh, hmm? Five, ten. As you're looking around, uh, Pinko, just looking back at these guys trying to run after you, you mm -hmm. see someone exit that building and run towards you. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Two attacks plus four to hit. Thirteen. Yes. Okay. And nine want. No. So just a thirteen. Uh, take six bludgeoning damage. Is he just smacks you with a hammer? Just like I get a little shit. You call the damage. This guy's going to just start patrolling. Uh, given he's going to start patrolling, I'm going to roll 
this and let's see what direction. Oh, West. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, we're going like north, uh, from north clockwise around for one, two, three, four. Yeah. See which way. Also, guys, go stay outside the buildings, the guarding. Yeah. These two guys are just going to move a bit more this way, if anything. And also, you guys are going to keep on guarding as well. Yeah. Uh, Pitu's turn, I don't think Rana's back still, so... Yeah, yeah. We will hold off on Rana's turn. Yeah. Kaper. Mm -hmm. Yep. It is your turn. Uh, hmm. You just heard a bit of a poro yelp from the distance. Not even a yelp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, more of a poro squeak. He did bitch damage. <laughs> How much? Six. Yeah, he did. He swung his club. He swung twice, missed the second time, and did bitch damage the first time. I have enough help. I mean, Five. To be fair, he did only two under his maximum damage. So he always does bitch damage. Their danger <laughs> isn't in their normal attacks. Oh, it's Probably should have asked this at the bullshit. start. But how are we doing familiars? Do they share the same initiative or uh, yes. do they have their own? I've always done it where familiars go off your initiative. Because Lyra should have been up here. I forgot to drag them. <laughs> drag them in. Whereabouts is Lyra? Um, at the place where George was. Okay. And. I'd like Lyra to fly around here and cause a bit of distraction. Okay, so... Yeah. How best to do this for distraction? Roll me a charisma roll for them. Ooh. Oh, I'd assume that'd be the best thing for oh. a distraction. No. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. Oof. I'm assuming charisma would be best for making a distraction. Because yeah. I don't think there is a distraction role. Yeah. There's a deception, which is the same modifier. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could have them do performance, but performance runs off of charisma. Yeah. <laughs> same modifier. <laughs> How do I handle thingies? What is, okay, what is he, what is he trying to do? That, that is the first question. Lyra is just flying around, yeah. trying to be a nuisance. Uh, then, in that case, I think it is, if they're just being a nuisance, I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking maybe intimidation. I was intimidation was also goes off charisma. Yeah, it's it's charisma. No matter yeah. what, it's gonna be charisma. Like, yeah, that, was, that's just what if it, it was up to me, it would be a wisdom on their part. Uh, they don't yeah. seem to be moved from their spot, but I am going to make them roll perceptions now to see if they even noticed. Um, one of them definitely has. One just goes, oh, "Fuck off, you flying rodent." <laughs> Meanwhile, Wait, the like, go, 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 go. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make that one guy do an intelligence. Wow, he's smart by smart. Uh oh. He's just like, take off your flying rod. Wait. I don't think that thing's from around here. Right, keep your eyes <laughs> up, Pete. We may have some more trouble coming in. And he is going to do something on his turn. But it's not his turn. <laughs> his turn is gone. Uh, uh, I will... Just for the off chance that one of them seizes and gets in here, I'm going to hold an attack. Uh, speaking of, how did you be... get in the building? Uh, same way as Wattleberg. Okay, so you just ran through the front door. Yeah. Okay. In that case, I and that, a, that attack will that be 
That attack will be frostbite. Okay. Make me a stealth. Uh, oh, good point. Paper. Yeah, he didn't see you. Wow. That is the highest stealth I've ever seen that character roll. It's mm-hmm. <laughs> the highest number I've ever seen them roll. Pinko. Babu. You're in combat with someone. Hey. Pinko is... Um... Hmm, there's so much I could do. <laughs> so much I could do. Cloud of Daggers! Uh, no. <laughs> Major armor. Okay. Oh, I now have... What class is Pinko? Warlock. You were the one who used... helped me put him together. Haven't you already used all your spell classes? Or your spell slots? Uh, use two classes. Mage armor's in that will. Okay. You you, it, you, do, you 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 have to state. You have to state that it's an in invocation because that's the that's the reason. Um yeah. Because if it's if it's an invocation, you have to say it's an invocation because yeah. then it creates the situation that wait, don't you already haven't you already what? used all your spell slots? But yeah, if it's shadow armor, um then yes. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, shadow it's armor. okay, don't worry about it. Oh no, it's it's fine. I did that all the time as Oni. Yeah. So and, and that's that's why it just becomes confusing. I'm gonna have to make this as a no just my my current AC with that is fifteen. Okay. So that is your is that a bonus action or an action to cast that? That is an action to cast okay. that. So mm-hmm. he kind of just like does it and like ruffles his fur and gives the stupid looking bastard a piece. <laughs> <laughs> it is now big boy's turn. By the way, nobody worry about me. <laughs> He's going to rush out the building. After he cast, sounding off the alarm. Looks to the borough. It's just like... Ugh, they've got that area covered. Let's do a 1d4. Let's see where he's patrolling. <laughs> they've got that covered. Still heads east dead away. Odd direction. <laughs> Gotta go. Might need a bit more help, though. Uh, you never know. This guy, however. Yeah, your own little pet's flying, aren't they? Yep. Okay. This is something I learned in the Sunday game. There is such thing as a jump ability. There is. Yep, there is. So, he is going to roll in athletics to see how well he does with this. Wait, can he actually... <laughs> Sorry, I just oh, got this oh, imagery oh, that the familiar <laughs> that the familiar was like in the air and the dude just jumps like fifty feet and just grabs it. Like <laughs> I mean he is a chem he is a chem put he is a chem put. True. That is um, that is true. That is true, but still the imagery <laughs> is funny as hell. He doesn't jump high enough to fully get a hit or a grab on it. So this ro- attack will be with disadvantage and he only gets one attack for this. Uh, how high is this building, real quick? <laughs> uh, I'd say that at its prime, it probably should have been 60 foot. Woo. Right, that is definitely the main building of the place. Uh, let me see. He may as well be throwing his weapon. <laughs> he gets plus four, but this is with disadvantage. Uh, six. Nope. Yeah, no. You see him jump and he just kind of tries to swipe, but clearly doesn't get high enough on his jump. <laughs> He's like, bloody rodent. <laughs> uh, this is also now when I have to... Oh yeah, there's this guy up here too. I've done. Uh, where's the D4? He's moving this way towards the building. 
own. Yeah, again, through Lyra. You can hear more beatings happening in the building. I <laughs> felt that come in like a mile off. Uh, Mariah. Also, don't to her staying where they are up there. Yes. It is your turn. Ooh, okay. Also, given I feel like it's probably going to loop around turn wise, I'm going to say Patu went in there with you lot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Mariah's going around that way. Is this person an enemy that yes. I can shoot? <laughs> I'm going to shoot. Below in stealth, see, I give a window of opportunity, and this is the one that wastes it. <laughs> Are we not meant to be fighting? Oh, I thought we were just going to kill them all. No, that's why everybody hid in the building. <laughs> no, nobody's stopping you at this point. Yeah, it's up to you. Well... You said you wanted to shoot somebody, so you might as well just shoot somebody. If I have to, I'll come save you. Yeah. I'm <laughs> shooting. Uh, that one, that shot, is a meet and beat. So, roll your damage. And make your second attack, because you've got extra attack at this point. That one misses, unfortunately. But you've still done 11 damage. <laughs> so... Door three in the building. Uh, Patu, <laughs> Kuiper, Waffleberg. You're there. You realize there's someone missing here. Oh, then you just hear and a that gunshot. Bang. Break the silence. <laughs> oh, no. And you just hear one of the big folks go, Someone shot me! That one! Get her! <laughs> I feel like this is the League of Legends moment where everybody's pinging. Close. Missing. Missing. Enemy now has vision. <laughs> uh, Enemy has rod. You do have the thing as well, if I recall, right? But it's up to you if you want to use it now or save it for later. Uh, let me just check this just to make sure. You do have action surge. But it's up to you whether you want to use that now or later. Which basically lets you have an extra action. Which means an extra shot. Uh, I'll do it in case I get into a bad situation later. Okay, so are you saving that then? Yes. Okay. So, Waffleberg, you just heard a shotgun go off. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, she's kid fun. Okay. Uh Waffleberg had plan. Uh, is there a back door to this place? Uh there are a few cracks that you think you may be able to squeeze through, but if you're going to do so, I'm going to need a acrobatics. Waffleberg will just go through the main front door. He's in his all night clothes. Um these two are obviously staring down at Mariah, right? Hey, this guy definitely is that got shot. The other guy. Okay. Yeah, again, with disadvantage. So, yeah, no, he's not paying attention to you. Waffleberg is going to go around the back, and he is, with his bag, um, he is just going to start walking... Uh, forward okay um, the moment that they see him he will uh, he will kind of shrug uh raise up his bag and a what appears to be a uh syringe the syringe the anesthetic syringe My job. i presume you require scrapper doc yes i have been told to come here yes Make me a deception with av advantage here. Make a deception with advantage. Yes, given that you are providing proof that you are A, Zonite, and B... That's a, 20, uh, that's a natural 20. Jeez. I don't think I'm getting anything above that. <laughs> Three natural 20s, yeah! <laughs> Whew. 
They look to be between each other. Well, I don't recall us bringing a dock here, but I suppose, uh, given the boss wants this guy alive, you may be needing yes. him to keep him alive in case he starts to, you know, perish. Well, my job isn't exactly to keep him... Well, my job is to keep him alive, but not exactly in one piece. A little bit of gift from fellow associates to your boss, yes? Yeah, that'll work, yes. As long good, as good. He'll talk, it's fine. Oh, he'll be able to talk. He'll say many things, mostly screams about stop it and don't, you know, the normal stuff. Also, you may want to be careful. We've got some rebels going around this camp by the sounds of it. Well, I heard something about Apollo. Your men seem capable. If they get hurt, I fix. I mean, Polo, though, still tries to get that thing up in the air. He's still, like, hopping up trying to hit Lyra, like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> He has gun, yes? Bang, bang? No, uh, we do, though. Oh, well, you should, you should help him. Then hold it over him and force him to buy you a drink. That's the idea. Yes, a uh, patient is inside, yes. Yes. All right, the Waffleberg will go inside. Okay. That was significantly easier. <laughs> <laughs> and as you head inside, you see a couple more of the thugs, just your basic thugs, just loitering around, and two chem thugs. One of which is just stood there, just shouting, I'll give us the answers and this will all be over. And the other is quite literally punching George as he's hanging by some chains from a rafter in the roof. Oh, this is beautiful, classic type of torture, yes! Uh, you are very efficient. Um, Waffleberg kind of adjusts the two, the two valves on the tubes as he takes a deep breath. You keep punching and punching, but that will not give answers. Freljordians, very good at resisting blunt trauma. Uh, you have, uh, you have drill, yes? Could you go get drill, he says, pointing to the dude in front of him. Uh, drill, I believe that's up at the site at the moment. Oh, and well. One of the camp folks will be like, oh, if we need something a bit spikier, I've got that. And... He will quite literally pick up what seems to be a smaller version of Sin's shield, just with like the spikes. I can always ram this into him. Oh, no, no, see, it must spin. It must spin to drill in. As it spins, it causes more pain. Hips and tears more. Stabbing is good. Yes, yeah, stabbing is great, but it does not get down to the point. The spinning of a drill tears the nerves and the tendons. That is what you need. Spinning. Hang on. I'll, I'll go see if we've got one in the caravan. This guy's going to exit. Good idea. Yes, yes. So, on his turn, he will move. Uh, I'll say it'll go to their turn now, though. Alrighty, yeah. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> He's actually going to make a dash for it. Screw it, why not? 5, 10, 15, <laughs> 20, 25, 30. He is here. Uh, let me see who else there is. This guy. 5, 10... <laughs> 15, 20, 25, 30, rushing down to Mariah. Oh, I've had three notifications from Rana. Give me a sec. Rana is back. Uh, has a marvelous idea what her, what she missed. Uh, people tried to stealth. People were doing good stealth. Then Mariah decided to shoot someone. <laughs> Mariah is now <laughs> your distraction. Uh... Oh. Those guys, for the most part, they're staying where they are up here. However, <laughs> over here with Pinko. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> it is poor old right. Pinata time. One time. Um, All right. Um, um, I just want to look at something. 
Alright, while you're doing that, I will yeah, right. head up to here, because these two guys, the couple out what seems to be the Zornite's version of a crossbow. Thrash for it, 1D, 20 plus 2. 21 on Lyra. Oh, yeah. Lyra is taking. Two damage. Oh, my God. <laughs> is Lyra still up? <laughs> Quite literally one, yeah. The other one shoots. Free damage. <laughs> she poof. Yep. Lyra poofs. Oof. They're like, I expected a body to fall down from that. <laughs> Where's the body? It should be noted, while these guys do get two attacks, with the crossbow, it's one because, you know, they have to take their second turn to reload. Well, their second ah. attack to reload. Which does mean, however, that this one will get a shot off on Mariah. A miss, because I know that your AC is higher than five. <laughs> However, these guys over here are having a Poro beatdown. Yeah. With oh, no. plus four to attack. And this is where I announce what the little trick thing that they have is. Mm -hmm. Pack tactics. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's oh. four rating you with advantage. So, uh, nat 20. Oh, no. Yep. The second one is going to be hitting you for nope. 11, nope. so that's a nope. The third one is going to be hitting you for 14, nope. which is a... What, is, what did Tracy go up to? 15, is it? 15. Yep, so 15 to beat. Nope. Wow, nope. only then that 20 game hits. So, yes. 1d6 plus 2 twice. Well, 1d6 plus 2 and then another d6, I believe it is. And nine damage. <laughs> <laughs> so quite literally. Nine. Yeah. Okay. Quite literally. Sure. Pink goes there, dodging almost every hammer, and then one just kind of clonks them on the head. <laughs> just like we were resounding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me check something first of all before I end my turn, because. There is something I have noticed here, and I need to look up the range. Okay. Technically, yes. Technically, this can be work. That guy over there is going to shoot you, Mariah. Where's, where's the plus two? There it is. Uh, 15, Mariah. Wait. Uh, no. Hang on. Yep, yeah, no. That misses as well, and he has to reload. Uh, that guy is rushing for the drill, so he's technically not doing much. Not to mention, he can't really see anyone at this point. So, we will get to a Patu, who is over here stealthy, nice and stealthy in a building. And given you haven't broken mm. your stealth yet, the stealth I rolled for you, if I recall right, was a... Oh. 22. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I hear what's going on. I'm going to have to turn you up a bit. There we go. So, you're in the building for two. You've heard a gunshot go off, and several crossbows go off after that. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, Kuiper, you definitely would have felt Lyra. Poof. Oh, yeah. Peek over to the door. Okay. And as you peer outside, you can see a thug and a chem thug rounding up 
towards Moriah. I would like to try. Can I send Devi out to destroy this? Uh, send Devi out to distract them? Yeah. Distract him slash maybe get him to come this. To come where? Sorry, you're breaking out up a bit. Sorry, cellular device. It's okay. Distract him and potentially get him to come this way. Okay, so... So I can clobber him when he comes through. We'll say that... Where is our little friend Devi thingy there? Roughly around there-ish. Mm. Make a charisma check. I just realized I'm saying this without us actually having little short stats. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have stats, although I'm rolling with... I'd say... That's a 16. Unless you want me to... Roll a 16. Let's go off like the stats that Lyra had as well for this kind of thing for now, until I've worked that out. So, <coughs> Lyra got a minus 4 to that, so 16, that would be a 12. Hmm. Let's see how these guys fare. He's dumb as a box <laughs> of rocks. He is focused entirely on Mariah. Actually, no, wait. Dumb as a box of rocks means he is distracted. He sees the shark. It's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and, no, the chem, the chem punk over here, fully distracted with Mariah. This guy, however, yeah, no, he sees Debbie and he's like, the fuck are you? <laughs> Baby shark, day, 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 day. right, right, attack with oh. advantage. <laughs> uh, I'm Damn. assuming that he's going to uh, flop back towards here to try and lure him in. Yes. Okay. I will have to make a mental note that on the next turn, this guy is going towards the building. Are you ready in action to bonk? I am ready in action to bonk. Okay. I'm also waving to Kuiper and pointing out that get ready to beat whatever lovely shit out. <laughs> he nods. Yep, and it but is he has you. something else in mind. It is your turn, Kuiper. Cool. Um... So, he said we know the caravan's this way. Yep. And he looks like he's heading towards it. Yeah, that guy is heading towards it. Well, now's a better time than any. Um, I would like to set that caravan off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Providing it has any form of like switch or lever. Oh, it does. Oh, wonderful. I'm going to hit a random lever and hope it, you know, just set it off down a hill or something. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. Roll me a d6. Will do. Huh. Okay. So, the way I had this out was one was just gonna be the alarm. Two was going to be just open the doors. Four was acceleration. F five was weapons. Because yes, this thing <laughs> actually has weapons. And six was going to be the large driller that is built in. Three is the handbrake. This thing goes rolling back. <laughs> <laughs> This guy watches it, he's like, oh no, 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 the boss is going to kill me. <laughs> he's getting ready to dash off the map to try and catch up with this thing. I imagine we can I all hear this inside. Down. Yeah, you, you just like hear the crunching of snow. While the guy goes up to the window. He's like, uh, did you guys remember to put the handbrake on? Because it's kind of... <sighs> kind of going 
go help him. Go help him. I am good here. Make sure that a big, big, useful machine is still big, useful machine. Da. Let me persuade you. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably best doing so. The boss ain't going to be happy about this. Yes, I am good here. If he tries to resist, I shoot him in the kneecap. <laughs> okay, so is that your turn, Kuiper? I can't think of anything else in time, so I'll end it. <laughs> Bingo! My trade technique. You are going to uh, need to uh, make me a dexterity save. Okay, it's for so two people. Who, which two? The two in front? Uh, this one. Yep. And this one. Because okay, they have the to be within people. five feet of each other. And I happen to know that this one is the new one. And he won't die as easily. Okay, so the two to the right. Oh, eh. two, two underneath you. Uh, that is a fail, and that is a fail. They are both taking 23. Uh, they both just fall over, clutching their faces. Yay, I get to use one of my PSFs. Can we talk about that role? Then? I <laughs> am... Where was it? I was looking through my feats and traits. Uh, Dark One's Blessing. Okay. When you reduce a hostile creature's health to 0 HP, you gain 11 temporary hit points. Yep. Yay. Oh, God. So 22 temporary hit points. I was going to say, does that stack or is it just one? Spirit? Is it just... It stacks. Oh god! It, 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 I it, was it, about it, to ask Austin because I was like Austin would know more than I knew. Um, <laughs> temporary HP never stacks. Oh <clears throat> no, you are right. Yeah, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, Dark One's blessing does not stack. It stacks with other spells, though, doesn't it, Josh? I think you always take the highest source of um, temporary healing. Yeah. Yeah, I think that. Out. Yeah, I think you are right. So yeah, I do apologize. It does not stack. But still, though, 11. that's eleven temporary hit points. That is wonderful. <laughs> it is wonderful. <laughs> Isn't it amazing that everybody was like this dumb poro, and then all of a sudden it's like this, this, this <laughs> evil malevolent it's, poro. It's hard to get super fucking <laughs> edge. <laughs> it, Jesus, somebody say beat the zero. It's like. <laughs> Oh, somebody save Pinko! <laughs> I don't need you. <laughs> so, Ken Fook's turn. This guy exits the building after hearing Glad screaming. He starts rushing towards it. Oh. Dashing, of course. Even dashing, he only gets there. So, yeah, Pinko, just beyond these two, you see one of the big bruises rounding the corner to come to you. Being like, What's, what are you screaming about? You having a bit of trouble with a poro? It's a poro, mate. <laughs> uh, This guy up here. Five, ten. I'm about to do it slowly like that because it's hard to see the grid here. So he's going to go here. And I'm not going to lie, I thought that was an actual phone. I didn't realize it, Romtelli. Yeah. <laughs> I just heard a phone going off, didn't it, Romtelli? Uh, he's going to go there, and you're going to see him pull something off his belt. And he pulls the pin and throws it. Wait, he throws what at who? Uh, he's throwing something at Mariah. Oh. I'm going to explode! Alrighty, Mariah, good luck. <laughs> Hang in there. Don't die. This is a 10-foot square, so... Yep, if he throws it directly on you... His mates and him are safe. I'm going to need you to make me a... Dex save. You actually pass. You dive out the way, recognizing this to be a grenade. You are going to be taking half damage. I wish I exploded. 
It's not just a grenade, it's a lemonade. I am going to buff this slightly because I did have these a bit weaker. Oh, I thought you said you were going to buff it because of my joke. <laughs> uh, that is still a rubbish roll, so take round it up, free damage, Mariah. And yeah, take free damage as just the offshoot of this smoke hits you. This choking, poisonous smoke. Ooh. AKA, these are poison grenades. These are chem grenades. Just like Mama used to make. <laughs> uh, let me see. That guy, having had his little road up problem solved, decides to investigate. Oh. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Sees the commotion going on down here. Hang on. I should be making little markers in here because these guys do have a limited stock of these things, by the way. But having seen his mates already toss one, he's like, I'll wait. Uh, let me see. Who else is there? Because those happened, those happened. There is this guy up here. Slash R, 1D4. Yes, South. 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30 on these little routes. Watch this guy run off going, I need to get back to Caravan. <laughs> Just shrugs. <laughs> he couldn't give a shit. <laughs> and it is now Mariah's turn. Mariah, you've just dove out the way of a poisonous grenade. <laughs> Mariah's <laughs> backing up. Uh, on the big guy, I'm guessing? Yeah. Okay, 22 hits. Roll your second attack. <laughs> Jesus. Odds or evens, Mariah? Evens. Okay. Oh, dear. Happen. He oh. just falls down dead. <clears throat> These guys I have know. a thing for odds or evens, given their giant chems on their back. Uh, if you hit them in the right... If you hit them and kill them, there's a chance they may explode. Either way, I'm going to ask moving down here. Because... <laughs> So guys, he has just moved down there, but he did. Uh, Wolfenberg, you were just watching that guy just pounding on this, mm -hmm. pounding on George's kidneys, basically. But did I say I will do it, Goisi's friend? Yes. We're senderizing him up. Yes, yes, and I and I thank you for that, but he is tender enough. Besides, who needs tenderizer when you have chainsaw, yes? As Waffleberg is saying this, he has put his bag on the table. Um, the moment that he does, Wilhelm will come out of the bag, but Wilhelm is dressed in like a fur coat. That just covers him. Yes. Oh, by the way, this is assistance. This is Clarence. Clarence is assistant midget. Now go help friend. Yes. What did you say your name was there, Doc? Dr. Valan. Now go. Hmm. Uh, are you doing anything on your turn, by the way? Uh, he, I will hold my actions till they leave. Okay. It is these guys' turn. Those two are staying in there. Those two are staying guard. This guy flees off the map to try and catch up to the caravan. He's like, boy! And this guy. Where's that thing gone? Oh, no. uh oh. Runs face first into you, Patu. <laughs> He's getting clobbered over the head. Okay, roll an attack. 
that's a missed opportunity of Patu just opening their mouth like an actual Patu bird and just oh. I mean, I could do that. <laughs> Roll a four check. <laughs> what Patu? What Patu? You just no. getting on a log. <laughs> You can't just so play we're making, hard. We're making actual <laughs> jokes about Patoos now. I think we broke Josh for that. <laughs> just the fact it took me a few seconds. For a split second, my brain just went, yeah, that's fine, you can say that. And then it just clicked and I was like, no, no, you can't do that. <laughs> yes, that seems about right. No, wait, no, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> that's the chaos I expect from this game. So, <laughs> go ahead, Patu, and roll your attack. So, I should probably mention this is as much trying to knock them. But, uh, that is a natural 20 that I... Yeah, that's a, that's a hit. Roll your damage. Then, before it crits, it's roll it and add your bonus, and then roll the uh, dice again, and add that to it, too. Nah, hurt. Well, that is seven, and I need to roll again. What do it? So, is it a finesse weapon you're using? It is a bling, so it is not finesse. <laughs> okay, so it'd be the first number you rolled plus your attack modifier, your strength modifier, and then just add the second dice onto that as well. So that is 14 total. Okay. Straight to. Yep. You just hit him as he walks in. He just looks at you. It's like. Oh, there's a couple of other strangers in here. That's not a little bug. And he's going to swing for you. <laughs> oh, that's an one. <laughs> no, that, that was the 1D2. Ah. That's a 19. Okay. And his second that attack hits. is an 18. <laughs> that also hits. <laughs> so if I recall right, this was... Yeah. Uh, 12 damage. Huh. Not is as just... bad as I thought it was. He just kind of brings the handle of the sledgehammer into your gut and then just smacks one of your legs with it. Huh. And we now need to go over here because it's time for the pinko party. <laughs> the first one is a nat 20 again. Oh, the same guy getting a nat 20 on pinko. The second guy is a 19. Oh no, wait, you get two attacks each, what am I on about? So the first guy's hit twice. The second guy. Only hits once, so that's three attacks on you, Pinko. One of them being a crit. Slash, alright, 1d6 plus 2. 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14. 17 damage, Pinko. <clears throat> Is Raka still here? Uh... <laughs> oh. Oh. What's happening? Uh, you got hit three times, one of them being a crit. Oh. So you're you taking 17 damage. Power. 17? Yeah. Okay, so technically only six because oh, actually no. Yeah, because the uh, tap. I it 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 I forgot that D and D Beyond does take temporary hit points away, so okay, I don't have to do it myself. <laughs> Yay! Oh, that is their turn, I believe. Unless was someone else running after the caravan? Um. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Wolfelberg convinced this guy to go after the caravan too. Oh. 15, 20. 
25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. He is on the edge of the map. And I've got a cat on me. That's right. That's why I just had a strain in my voice then. I had to lean my head back because you were trying to sniff the microphone. Uh, Patu. You just got slapped a little bit by a guy with a sledgehammer. You didn't like that. For two, eat him. <laughs> you guys really want me to try and suffocate him? <laughs> no. <now? laughs> I mean, I can try. <laughs> Just get slumped by a sledgehammer. Head grows massive. <laughs> <laughs> no, we saved those kind of attacks for the Sunday game. <laughs> okay. I mean, to be fair, in the Sunday game, uh, my character has bitten people in half on several occasions now. Well, I doubt that I would be able to swallow the dude whole, because I am going to take Legion in one hand and short I'm going to attack. I have two weapon fighting. Okay. So attack with your first weapon and then with your second weapon. 17 for the first. That is a hit. And a natural 20 for the Yep, yeah, so roll your damages. Legion. Is there any reason why you decided to sit on me, Fritz? Six damage from... From Legion? So I'm using crit with... No, that's oh. just from the shorts. Okay. I'm about to use Legion's damage. Yep, so remember, with this one, since it's the crit, roll an extra dice and add that onto it, top of it too. So that is 17 damage with Legion. Legion begins to glow as you just plunge it into this guy. And you watch this guy just kind of shrivel up like a husk. You'll see this as well, Kuiper, obviously. And Concern. You just drop this husk to the ground as an extra voice is added to Legion. It's been like, why has everything got so white and bright? Where are these people? <laughs> So he is dead. Wait. Uh, mm. Please tell me that adds him back to the turn order. It did not. Nope. If I recall right, they had a 15, didn't they? Yep. Yeah. 15. There we go. I'm going to have to move into the bottom right along with the thug. Chem thug. He was your turnkeeper. <laughs> he was the turnkeeper. So, <laughs> with that done, are you going to try and move out as well, or? Um, if I can this, I don't want to fight this guy. As I've said, there are well, cracks... There are cracks around that cabin that you're in that you could try and squeeze through. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> uh, acrobatics is needed. Acrobatics. Fifteen. Yeah, you managed to squeeze on through. Just revealing that the heft of your bulk is just fed a fluff. <laughs> I just fold up and go straight through the crack. Pretty much. Also, I'll just remove Debbie for now until we need it again. Let 
me... That'll be my... Yeah, let me just make a couple of these. Nope, none of them beat a 22. None of them got on that 20, <laughs> essentially. So none of them spot you for two. <laughs> Caper! You've been left alone mm -hmm. with a husk of a body. That's okay. Like, the um, best way to describe it's... it is, have you ever seen a... Have you ever seen, like, the Brenda Fraser Mummy movie? Mm, no. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> well, that... Anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll, I'll, get him, I'll get him the scene. I will get him the scene. I know what scene you're talking about. All right. Thank you for that, Santa. <laughs> you will see that. That was so funny. It's just like, no. Anyway. <laughs> Have you seen the scene? No. Oh, no. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so you mentioned some are they gas canisters that these did? The, yeah, they've holding? got like big canisters on the back. Seems less like gas and more like the chems they're pumping into themselves. Even better. Hmm, spice. This this feels a bit out of character, but I I, I feel completely obliged to do it. Um, I'm going to use frostbite specifically on. The canister, if possible, and I'll require a deck save. Okay. What did I get? In these hopes guys? of, in hopes of making the liquid slash gas expand and explode. <laughs> uh, that is a fail. Woo! Woo! So roll your damage. Seven. Oh, seven. Yeah, I see it. So. You use that, you freeze him up. He also takes some damage from it as he just starts shuddering. And, wait, I did that wrong. It still would have failed, but I did that wrong. It would have been a five, but that's still a big fail. Um, <laughs> odds or evens, Kuiper? Oh, evens. It doesn't Please seem to explode, but what it does seem to uh -oh. do is slow down the intake for the next for his next turn. He considers to be moving through difficult terrain. <laughs> Fair play. <laughs> and then, I'm not gonna hide anymore. I'm just gonna come out. And summon a load of meteors. <laughs> okay, if you're going through the east side, acrobatics. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, you like could either just... way. Yeah, I mean, the door's there. You could just go through the door. <laughs> <laughs> Burst through a door. <laughs> and summons meteors. Acrobatics to get through the door. <laughs> so, yeah. They are... All going to be ice meteors. Okay. So that is your turn? Yep. Pinko. Pinko? I oh, made a mistake. Oh. Okay. Oh. That was also an action. Oh. I do not have an action. I thought it was a bonus action. So you oh, just well. step out without any meteors. Yeah, okay. expecting me to just like, ha ha, wait, I did so, that throw, give me a moment, walks back in. Pink off. <laughs> yes. You've got two people in combat with you and one chem fug on the way. Roll me dexterity. Oh. Roll me dexterity. Oh, that's not as it was before. And they both passed. Pass. <laughs> so they're both taking six damage. Uh, yep, yeah, that's what they're on at the moment now. They are both still up. They're both just like. They both see it coming basically and block it with their hands. And they're just shaking their hands like. Ah, yeah, <laughs> 
don't like it. It's sticky. Is that your turn? Uh, yes, because I don't believe I can do anything. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I don't have any bonus anything. Pump, pump, pump. Um. PSD of the thump. He's gonna okay. shout out to his mate and be like, "Hey, there's another one of them down here—a little small scrawny one." Came out, tried to <laughs> flip it their arms in the air, and nothing happened. Think they're a magic boy. <laughs> What? I don't know magic. What are you talking about? <laughs> He's going to walk this way. Let's see if he can see me, because I don't think I'm going to stand out in the open. I mean, you didn't say you were pressed against the wall or in the bush. You were stealth still, though. I did say though. I was stealthing, though. That is true. <laughs> I'm going to say, given his oh. right up close advantage on that, did it matter? Definitely not. He just stops for a moment. It's like... Hmm. 25, 30. So. This boy here takes the thing off his belt, measures it up, and tosses it here. Kuiper, deck save. We all do. Oh, I'd have to be saved, didn't <laughs> Nope. You're taking oh. full damage from this. As the grenade goes off behind you and fills the air around you with poisonous smoke. <coughs> yeah, kind of like that. And I'll say this. It's a good job that you didn't get in that one. I'll just reveal this now because I feel like it's not going to happen for me. Uh, if you get na if it, if you crit fail on these things, you're blinded for a round as well. Ooh. So you are taking one d ten plus two. Taking five damage. <laughs> and now this person's gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> With his two attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Is he within? No, he's not within five foot. <laughs> Plus four to hit. Uh... Nope, yes. Okay, so he's hitting with you can one of them at least. probably tell why I'm mighty went for the deck save first. <laughs> yeah. Taking damage uh, stops the cloak from working. <laughs> Uh, so this is. Who would have guessed that their actual attacks are weaker than a grenade? Six damage. Is it just punching <laughs> in the face? <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> he just, <laughs> you just see his hand go large. He just does the Senor Pelo slap. <laughs> 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 Totally enough, the same thing's going to happen over here <laughs> with Pinko. Uh, no, because he's there, it's there and Pinko gets an attack of opportunity. <laughs> I um, don't actually have... How much does a headbutt do? It only does one if you don't have the monk stats. Hmm. Because the problem is I don't have the stats for it, but he has a little orb. And he uses it to, like, because he's so short, hit people. Okay. But I don't, I don't know. I guess I'll just do, Oh, if like... it's a, if it's like a weapon, it'll do more than one. Yeah. But, like, if it's, it's you using your head, it's only... It's like a weapon, but the problem is, is I haven't put it on D&D &D Beyond yet. I'm going to say, for now, given that this sounds like it's a bludgeoning weapon. Uh, it's school. kind of like a magic orb, so yeah. Yeah. Use club stats. Club stats? Yeah. Okay. So it's a 1d4. D6. Oh, sorry, d4, yeah. yeah. Okay, d4. so it's a d20 plus. Plus uh, these 
these technically aren't finesse weapons. But given that it's a magic orb you're using it with. Wisdom. <laughs> like at this point. <laughs> I think my wisdom is actually my lowest stat. Oh, no, I was wrong. <laughs> I'm going to say use your dex. It'd be like a finesse. Okay, so it'll be a plus two to attack. Unless your strength's higher. Because I think finesse means you choose. No, my strength is lower. Okay. Do you so... really think a Poro is that strong? I mean, mighty Poro <laughs> so is a thing. So it's a 17. <laughs> and oh, this is... Three. Yep, he takes three damage as you hit him in the shin with the orb. What? <laughs> it just goes to punch Just like you. pops just... out of the hat and just like... Yeah, and then like puts it back in the hat. He goes to punch you. And you just kind of just slap his hand away with the orb, just like, no. Like, ah. <laughs> Little bastard. <laughs> Mariah. That hurt. People have stopped chasing you by now. Is she still here? Oh, Rebecca. Mariah's returning. Yes. Uh, it's your turn. People have stopped chasing you. You've seen them actually go for Kuiper now instead. Oh, Mariah is slowly returning back to the fight. <laughs> I'll go, go for the closest one. Kuiper, you look to your side. You swear she's wearing a Rambo bandana now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 16 hits. Yep, uh, second attack. A 15 hits. Jeez. Remember when I was saying, yeah, no, my biggest worry isn't any of you lot too much. It's Mariah. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I know the damage output Mariah can do, and it's scary. <laughs> Uh, waffle bag. You managed to convince one oh. to go off. Sorry, I've just realized this dude should have had disadvantage because of frostbite. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Anyway. Uh, oh, yes, well, not all three of them have it left. It was just the one. Yeah, just that one guy that was at the window left. Nice. This guy's just here just watching you. This guy's still barking questions at him. And even though this guy's trying to hold off, you do see him occasionally just getting one quick punch. <clears throat> just like, he's trying to do it when he thinks you're not looking. <laughs> Beneath the mask, there's just an eye twitch. Do you think I am dumb? Do you think I can hold off that long? Look, we don't get hired to be smarty thinky people. We get hired to punch things. He's a thing we've been told to punch. That is fair. That is fair. Yes. Yes. Waffleberg will walk over here and he will look at Greg. Although I fear if you continue to punch him, he will not live for much longer. And if he dies before you get answers... Well, isn't that why you're here? To, you know, keep him alive? That is very true. That is very, very true. Waffleberg has the saw in his hand. He is going to start prepping it. But before we see, we need to check pain tolerance. Uh, he will turn on the automated saw. Yep. He will reach down to the man right by him, the uh, Kim Thug, and he will uh, borrow one of the grenades. Okay. Um, just for the Kim, uh, which he will look at him. We will see how toxic he can skit. And the moment that he has that in hand... He is going to take the saw and he is going to cut one of the tubes on the thug. He is going to shove the grenade into the tube hole, 
pull the pin and kick him away as he is going to go ahead and he is going to cast um he is going to go ahead and he is going to cast invisibility on hmm. senior greg okay first things first let me just try and wait so so you've taken his grenade under the perception that you go top fight cut it open and then snipped his tube and pointed so yes so it is inside of his tube make me an attack roll with an advantage first okay um any specific stat probably dexterity uh with a saw i think it'd be like a just a strength oh with a with just string okay cool because i don't think a saw is a finesse well, I mean, it's an automated, like, it's it's not like a huge saw. It's like an automated, like a bone uh, saw. Like a doctor's saw. It's automated. You know what? Yeah. Uh, dexterity, then. Okay. Given we will try that again. These tools. Yeah, that's a 23. <laughs> yeah. You managed to snap on the tubes. And... Roll me another dex. Roll me a dex check, just to see if you can bung this thing in. Yes. There's a nineteen. And you were shoving him away. Yes, he is being shoved away. Okay. But, hmm, do you have action surge to do so? That is a very good question. Those both are actions, aren't they? Uh, no, I do not have action surge, but I did have extra attack. Yep. So, not action surge, but technically both of those were attacks. So I will say that I've just used my extra attack that round. Yep, because you had to use one action to slip, then the other action would be bung. Yep. So, um, but that does mean I cannot cast the spell, which is okay. It does also mean that technically that thing's going off. Oh yeah, it is It is very much going off, but this is where the second part of the plan uh, comes in, which is the part that involves Wilhelm, who is already jumping onto the chain, holding up Greg, and he is going to start George. moving Greg at his, or George. Uh, for some reason I'm thinking is Greg. Is Greg from Starbound? Yeah. <laughs> That's why. That's why I'm thinking it's Greg. Um, and at 40 speed, Wilhelm is just vrooming on out of there. Okay, so... He will go through a fucking wall if he needs to. He's a robot. I will be saying this then. Because mm -hmm. of that, Wilhelm and George will be automatically taking half damage from this. Okay. Uh, this guy will automatically be taking full damage because he can't really dodge something that's in his giant tube. Yeah, well, uh, Waffleberg will probably be taking full damage as well, won't I? No, you will still get a dex save. Okay, cool. As will the Kenpunk here. There's a 13. I believe that's a failure. Uh, yes, it is, unfortunately. Sweet. Thank you for putting up with my bullshit. <laughs> uh, the guy behind you fails as well. Cool! Waffleberg just looks at him. Duck! So, this is 1d10 plus 2 damage. Poison damage. So, yeah. 7 damage. 3, uh, 4 for uh, Wilhelm and 4 George. Sweet. George is hanging on by a thread. That is uh, A-OK. -okay. Actually, he's hanging on by a chain. No, he's not hanging on ah. by a chain, though, either. <laughs> That's gone. Damn it. <laughs> well, yes. Yeah, so um, actually, uh, a bit of a correction of something. Um, Wilhelm does get the free dash action oh, as well. does he? Um, yes, uh, because he is a steel defender. Um, so he is actually also going to dash... Okay. Um, so he will actually be going a hundred and wait, forty plus forty, that is 
80. Sorry. Yeah, that's 80. Um, so he will actually be going 80 speed at just like as fast as he can. Where are they dashing off to? Um, is the only way out of here the front door? Uh, unless you want to try and barrel through a wall, yes. Wilhelm's a ro- <laughs> He's a robot. Uh, so let's let's see if he can barrel through a wall. Uh, make me a strength check with Wilhelm. There actually go. That's a seven. He doesn't barrel through it, but I will allow him to make an acrobatics to try and squeeze through. Okay, cool. Uh, he does not have acrobatics, but he does have athletics as a steel defender. Uh, which would just mean that uh, acrobatics is dex, right? Yeah. So yeah, so it'd just be the dex. He's actually struggling. Cool. He is struggling. Waffleberg, seeing this, just shakes his head, looks at the other men. Uh, what can I say? Help these days. <laughs> You've watched just pretty much Will help is try to shove George through first, and George has just kind of got stuck, and he's just like trying to push George through. Still like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, this looks bad. I'm not going. I'm not going to lie, but I am going to state: if you all treated me as a dumbass, I will kill you all. But yes, let's have fun. The guy that was behind you who got blown up went. I knew there was something fishy about you. Kill him, boys. I'm a bird, not a fish. <laughs> but I can doubt you like one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> 5, 10. Can they hear from out there? Because isn't the door shel- closed? He's just sheltered from both. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> a nice little cross section there. Austin, Mm -hmm. I feel like we both ended up in very similar situations. The difference is I know how to get out of this situation. Oh, I'm almost out of mine. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Like, the the big thing is, is I literally, I can can get out of this, and then there's nobody around me, and I get to walk away. (laughs) I mean, I'm not going to lie. We're we're, we're not not good at stealth. I mean... We were doing pretty good. We were we were not doing pretty good. This started off with somebody screaming to death and everybody realizing that there were people there and then alarm. There there was no we were doing good. <laughs> yes, I mean, we're still doing good. Combat's somehow good. somehow Waffleberg is the last one to enter combat. Then to move dash downwards <laughs> towards you. The Poro was the first. These two upon hearing a bit of screaming coming from here. Well, they've been hearing screaming for cover for different ways. It's like, right, I think we, I think we need best getting something done. Twenty. Oh wait, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. You just see, you're just seeing half of George through a wall. Just being like, what the fuck? Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty years roughly. Yeah. He's running down this way. And his mate that was inside the building is heading a bit further down behind him. Is there any other of these guys that I've missed aside from these two in combat? Nope, that seems about right. It's time for me to do some combat. Plus four on the twenty. With pack tactics, this is on the this is on Pinko. A 16 and a 19. Your AC 16, isn't it, at the moment, Pinko? Raka? I think it was. <laughs> so we've got two mm-hmm. hits there. Three hits. All four hits, I think. I think it was 16 anyway. Can Soul confirm that? I can't I can. remember. I can look at his character. Okay, thank you for that. Fast. 
Uh, yes. Okay, so that is four hits on pink up, or four hit. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Did I get hit? Yep. Seventeen. Yes. Twenty. What is it? You're taking twenty-three damage, Pinko. Me? Yep. Jesus, what they do? Hit all of them? Yep. Bastards. That's that's pack tactics for you. <laughs> Wait, they all rolled above fifteen for literally everything. <laughs> They get advantage on their attacks because of effect tactics. So it were a 16, uh, a 19, a 19, and a 17. Damn. <laughs> the funniest part is that I've got to do that again, but times three for Waffleberg. <laughs> Bye, Waffleberg's. Uh, Waffleberg, 23 is one hit. Um, Sorry, it's what? Uh, 23. I mean, sorry, it's. Oh, what's your what's your AC gone up to then because of that? Uh, my AC is now, in fact, twenty three. Okay, so one hit with meat and beat. <laughs> uh, the his second attack missed though. That one just about missed. That one just about missed. Hard miss, yeah. miss. So just one hit. Wait, that's a nat one. Oh. Yeah, but with advantage. Pack tactics, they're all within five foot of each other. Yep. So take three damage, Waffleberg. <laughs> the moment the Waffleberg is punched, he's, he just shakes his head, cracks his neck. And you call yourselves thugs. Uh, two. You're hearing a lot of commotion coming from that building up ahead now, but you're also seeing these two round up on Kuiper. Have I noticed Mariah? Because I did hear guns. Uh, you want to see Mariah shoot this big guy, and then seeing those two folks just racing towards her. The difference. Uh, make me an intelligence. Let's just see first things first. Intelligence. With advantage, we'll say. A nice intelligence with advantage. Given that this should be fairly obvious. That is a. Tw you feel out of these two. Given that these are just normal folks, but these are souped up folks. Kuiper might be in the more danger than Mariah. Are we doing that as well for Slayer? Hmm. What was that, sorry? Are we also using that intelligence for the fact of deciding well, it's the intelligence was more a case of knowing who was in the more danger of those two. It's up to you to choose who to go for. <clears throat> Should have been stated you're also hearing a lot of commotion from that giant shed up there too. Yeah, up here. Shed. Yeah. <laughs> Chad shed. <laughs> that is a nice shed. <laughs> Why do um... I hear Carmel dancing coming from that shed? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Wafflebergs have activated all of these distractions. <laughs> <laughs> well... This guy is a, no it has a I suppose I can take it. Then I can get away. Okay. So I've still got Legion in my short sword. 
I'm going to quickly rush up. Yep. And I'm going to attack with both Legion and the Short Sword. Yep. And since he's not aware of you, this is an attack. This is a surprise attack. If I recall. Hang on. The surprise attack. I don't know if it's a surprise round or not. Hang on. Uh, if you're in stealth, I believe you got advantage. That's it. That's and you also one. get sneak attack if that's a thing for two does. Indeed. Yes. So roll with advantage at your attacks. That's that good. is an eight. An 18 hits. That is an 18. You already know which one to be using. Yeah. Oh. Let's see how much dad looks. Uh, six damage with the short sword. Okay. So, is that including sneak attack too? What is sneak attack? Well, do you get sneak attack first things first? Because I know you're a rogue, but I don't know if you're that kind of rogue. I did not add the 1D. Let me add the 1D. Let me just... Uh, you, I think it should be higher than a 1D6 now. Given... 2D6. Ah. Yeah, you're 2D6. 2D6. Okay. So add, add 2D6 to that 6. So that is that is fourteen damage with the sword. Okay. And three. Twelve. And do I add the two D six as well to? I believe so, given it's part of the same attack. Especially given you do have the two fight, two weapon fighters uh, uh -huh. thing too. So that's 20 damage with Legion. Okay. Yep. And I'm launching my into the air using my fancy footwork to get away. <laughs> Okay. Where is it then? So, how far up in the air are you? Uh, I'd like to be out of his, but I know that he's got long range. Um, <laughs> I mean, the only long range he oh. has are grenades. Yeah, I'm going. <laughs> how far, sorry? Flight is 50. Okay, so 15 foot up. 50. Yeah. Uh, Kuiper. You're so for two run up to one of these guys, shank them, and then fly up in the air. And he's just... <laughs> that guy's just there going... What? Bloody bird! <laughs> after, getting, after getting gassed and good for she's just like... <laughs> you Probably pay for that. And he's gonna finally get the meteors out. <laughs> yeah, the guy's also... just being like, What are you gonna do? Summon up some tiny little rot. Oh. <laughs> and he's going to summon those. Tiny little rot. But also going to expend a second level, sorry, a first level spell slot on top of that to okay. add 2d10 force damage to these meteors. Okay. This can you damage. Can you throw them at the same time you summon them? Yep. Okay. Um, summoning them as an action, throwing two as a bonus action. Okay, so you can throw two of them. Yep. And the first one, ice damage, by the way, is going to go here. I need a dex save from those two. Okay, lovely. Uh, just a flat d20 on those guys. Uh, fail and crit fail. 
<laughs> okay, so he's taking gates. Well, plus 11. That is true. So, 19 they're taking, basically. This guy's taking that and then half that as well. So, that's rounded up would be another 9. 19, 20, 12, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26. He's taking 28. Because he crit failed. So yeah, you just <laughs> crash a meteor there. Mariah, you just watch D2 just kind of got knocked forward. This one definitely goes flying into the building from it. <laughs> and I believe he's oh. got one more to throw. My next one well isn't going to go for any of these. It's going to land, going to shoot uh, over here and land right here. Okay. So, deck save on those two. two. Yep. Uh, 14 on that guy there. The basic guy. So, he fails. Uh, the other guy gets plus one dex. Fails, but doesn't crit fail. <laughs> 16. 16. 7 gold, 9 force. Yep, Pinko. Same thing happens with you. You just watch a meteor land basically behind these two and just send them flying. <laughs> and then Kuiper's going to backstep away from this guy, provoking an attack of opportunity at disadvantage. Okay. Oh yes, because he is still sluggish until his next turn. And the cloak recharged. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, you got cloak of displacement now, yeah. Yeah. I got that in the Wednesday offline game now. And it's broken on a barbarian. Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> uh no. A seven won't hit you. Boop. <laughs> and <laughs> takes cover. <laughs> oh fire and get back here, you little shit. <laughs> Pinko. Hmm. Pinka, pinka, pinka. What? <laughs> <laughs> Intimidation check. Jim <laughs> um, takes. So who's? How the fuck did I get here? Don't you talk to me that way. Piss off. Fuck you. You're not my real dad. Yes, I am. Go no, you're not. I fucked the summer of 98. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is a yes, child a here. There is a child head. in the call. <laughs> Too far. <laughs> Too far. Hey, I didn't say it. You did. It was you're... you talking. No, you are the one that very much fucking said it, yeah. signore. We'll listen to the We don't recording. sound that we'll much we don't that. sound that much a fucking like when we do that. <laughs> oh <point>. hell no. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy are fighting again. Fucking I was waiting for you to say something. I knew it'd come and I'm not disappointed. <laughs> not disappointed at all. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> anyway, acid splash. Acid splash? Acid splash, yes. It is a deck save, if I've got it right. No concept. Mm. Uh, so, plus two for the folks. Oof. Yep, so, plus two for these guys. One, the 20 plus two. They both pass. Uh, and for the big guy, pass. What big guy? Big guy. He's not there for me. Hey, it's not to talk about here. I just had to check. This guy here. Yeah, but he wouldn't get hit because it only hits up to two creatures. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way, them two passed their con save, so it is half. 
Is it? Uh, yeah, five diamonds. Okay. One of them looking definitely worse. Actually, they're both looking really worse for wear at this point. Hey, neither of these two did. Uh, make me a medicine check. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. They're fighting fit. In fact, you oh. think they might be invincible. Damn. <laughs> you think this is one of those story fights that you're not allowed to win. <laughs> Speaking of, big guy's turn. Arr, fiddle me, Tim. Uh, let me see. These guys attack with the plus four... Plus four, pack tactics, uh, that 20 on Pinko. <laughs> oh, come on. That's like the fourth nat 20 you've hit yeah. on me, and like only <laughs> me. On. Like, I'm actually dead right now if that attack hits. I will tell you that right now. So, I do not have enough health to take all of their attacks. No, it's just a big guy. Seven. And... Eight, so yeah, I was dead when the seven hit. Fifteen, so you're down. Yeah. Ooh. Poro oh, down. No. Poro down. Death saves. Got my own personal problem here. Oh yeah, I forgot about that fight up there. I'll have to get that, that one in a second. <laughs> <laughs> get back here, who little shit. <laughs> 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 Uh, 21 with the that. first attack. Oh, yes, with the advantage. <laughs> yep. 13 nope. misses. His second attack misses. <laughs> so just You're swiping. hitting the wrong one, friend. I just imagine it's like that cup game. Just a switch around. <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> this guy, however, below you for two, is going to be a sneaky bastard. He's going to take his last a grenade. Sneaky. And he's going to cook it for a bit before tossing it upwards. Make me a deck save. That's <laughs> <laughs> a six. Uh, six, uh, six or a sixteen? Mm. I don't know why I'm asking. I don't think it's possible for you to even get a six. <laughs> no, I get a plus seven to my dex saves. Uh, and that's not including the plus one that I get, take, so that would be a seven. Take three damage. Oh! And now up here, this guy's actually going to wander over to Wilhelm. So let me see how this goes on Waffleberg. Are you going to be using shield again? We've already attacked this round. No, this is the big fuck. This is this guy. I don't have to use shield again. It's still oh yes, active. yes, yes, yes. It's until your turn. Yes. Yeah. So they, so they they yeah. His first attack misses. His second attack also misses. This guy over here though is going to try and attack Wilhelm. Good luck. 20. That is a hit. And the second attack is an 18. Except both those attacks now have... Uh... Yep, both of those attacks now have disadvantage. Okay, so the first attack is... What was it? Attack roll of one creature you can see with... Oh, sorry, one of them, one of them has disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah, I read through that again as you were. Yeah, on the attack roll. Uh, one creature you can see within five foot. Yeah. Well, wait, isn't it rolling twice because it has advantage, or is it multi-attack? It's got two attacks. Oh, okay. Yeah, then, yeah, it's just, uh, it'll be on one of them. We'll do it on the one <laughs> that hit. Uh... Just reading that. Both, though, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I was just reading that though. 
Oh, roll against. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, the end. The end. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. So uh, yeah, that'd be like if we were attacking you, they could yeah. get a false disadvantage. But yeah. Attacking Wilhelm himself, so that's two hits. I don't get to use Wilhelm much, so. Uh, one d eight plus. Yes. Uh, thirteen damage to Wilhelm. He's still up. <laughs> Wilhelm actually standing his ground. I mean, he's a robot. Yep. And, just because I can and because I'm a little bit of a dick like that, stepping out from this building, <laughs> he's just going to walk over, shove this guy to one side and be like, make some room. And he is going to attempt to grapple against the... Uh, he's going to try to pull George away from Wilhelm. Oh, no. Human tug of war. So, Wilhelm can make a athletics or acrobatics, and he is making this. Wilhelm needs to beat a thirteen. Yep, nope. Wilhelm's paws are now empty as George is ripped through the building by this guy. The moment that happened, Wilhelm's mouth is going to open. Yep. As Waffleberg's voice comes over. Self-destruct is now activated. Please have a nice day, you shitbags. <laughs> <laughs> Intimidation check? On Wilhelm or Waffleberg? Uh, <laughs> Waffleberg. Because it's Waffleberg we're talking okay. through it. Well, it's a recording, but I'll still accept that. Yeah. I mean, it's Waffleberg saying the words. Ah, oh, that's a ten. These two are gonna. These three are going to make a wisdom save against that. Uh, pass, pass, and let me see about this guy here. No, oh, is it's just a straight up uh, d twenty. Good, because he can't actually self-destruct. Yeah, they're just looking at it, just like... <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I'm thinking that's one of them the little tricks. He won't try blowing up his own mate. Well, uh, Wilhelm just shrugs. <laughs> Wilhelm just shrugs, <laughs> then pulls out minigun. <laughs> you laugh, but... <laughs> it, it is a yordle stone. Yes, it is. You've got two people rounding the corner on you. Oh. <laughs> You've got two people rounding the corner on your backs up. Uh, on who? On this one. Okay, that hits. Roll damage. Did. Did. Uh oh, she does a mini boogie. Right, that's your second action. <laughs> no, what's your, uh, your second attack? Oh, who? Uh, who can I see? You can oh, see okay. this guy tried to slap Kuiper. You can see this guy that tossed the grenade up at two. You can see this guy just shuffling around the corner. I'll go for the one that's attacking Kuiper. Okay, roll damage. You blast a hole for him, but he's still up. But he looks like you... Kaipu, you've got a nice view mm -hmm. through, through him at this point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, yes, the meat window. <laughs> you, you just look through the hall, just Mariah waving. <laughs> Hi! Are you hurt? <laughs> Are you hurt? I've got healing bullets now. At least I think they are. They look like normal bullets. <laughs> Let me try it. <laughs> uh, Waffleberg, you are surrounded. Your whole thing of faking an explosion didn't work. 
Yeah, well, the bag is pulling on strings, but uh, what, 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 what can you do? What, what, what can you do? Uh, Waffle Bear could just tell them all he's a Kim Baron, which isn't a lie, but they're too dumb. Um, Waffle is going to try the age old strategy. He's going to try the age old strategy, pulls out two bags of holding. <laughs> You laugh. No. But. Awful dog, no. Man, I can fucking produce those like crazy. Um. No, Waffleberg is going to actually pull out his pistol. Um. See if this. Gives a little bit of motivation. He is first, as he is doing that, though, he is going to go ahead. And I did not mean to roll that. I meant to just press the thing to send the information. Um, but he is going to cast Branding Smite on his pistol. Yep. Um, which it does work because uh, Branding Smite does not require a melee attack. It just requires a weapon attack. Um, and he, I am going to go ahead and use my palm pistol, which with the thingamabob, thingamadoohickeys, um, it is a, I don't have to reload, and it is a plus one to hit as well as the normal plus seven. Okay. So that will be, that's actually an 18. Yep. 18 hits. Uh, who are you attacking? Um, I'm attacking the dude that is right in... Uh, right here. Okay, the this guy. Right yep. Uh, Waffleberg is just going to pull his gun up. He is going to uh, fire. Did I already roll for damage? I did you have not, not yet. Um, yeah, so it will be the boop. It will be that uh, 10 plus um, the, branding smi the branded smite damage, um, which is the three okay uh, so it'll be 13 points of damage um yeah you quickly pulled your gun out and made upwards and basically shoots off side of his face and his ear because he's just looking at you like what a fucker oh is he not dead he is almost oh. dead but not quite oh. Well, as Waffleberg does that, the gun uh, sort of like runic sigils glow on the side of the gun because it doesn't need to be reloaded, which means I can do this! Yeah. Um, and so you will go ahead and fire again because this is Artificer for you. Yep. Yeah, that is a... Yep. And that is an 11, and I don't even imagine I need to do the smite, so... Um, you do, unfortunately. Oh, I do? Okay, cool. You do? I'm but let's actually, no, wait. No, 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 wait, you don't need to. I just realized. I yeah, I was, I was about... He has one health left. Oh, he has one health. <laughs> yeah, he so the smite will kill him either way. Yeah. Um, cool, so then in that case... Uh, there is less might. Um, as Waffleberg kills him, Waffleberg's going to look to the others and he will um, he will go ahead and he will pull out the chain necklace with the insignia on it of him being a Kim Baron. It is the vulture skull. Um, okay. Metal vulture skull to which he will look at the others. So who's next? Um, after Waffleberg, it will be uh, Wilhelm. Wilhelm, who has just been punched, very unhappy, his eyes going very red, uh, is going to go ahead and... Let me think of what Wilhelm could do here in this situation. Wilhelm can do a perfect thing in this situation. They're laughing at Wilhelm. They're not very nice. 
Wilhelm. Wilhelm activates Berserker Barrage. <laughs> He's going to attack the one that's closest to him. <laughs> Wilhelm activates Rage. Turns out Wilhelm was a barbarian all this time. Uh, yep, that hits for eight damage. Oof. Is that your turn? Sweet. Uh, he will also. Okay. If the page would stop doing what it's doing, he will also do this. He will begin to, as he attacks, a little sort of like spider droid will be going around him, repairing him. Um, yep. And so, yeah. Okay. A little bit. Upon pulling that out, these two are going to make a intelligence roll with advantage. One of them passed. He'll just look to the other. Be like, "Oh fuck, mate, we've messed up big time here." Like, what do you mean? It's a fucking Ken Baron. Our heads are gonna be on the line if we go back to zone. Well, we haven't killed him yet. We've just, you know, scuffed him up a bit. That's just pie for the course. Yeah, but if we go any further, mate. Look, I'm a reasonable guy. You'd say I'm reasonable, yes? Well, I mean, you just shot Mike, there. And that was reasonable, yes? I shot him and not you. You are lucky, yes? Oh, yeah, he's got a point. Yes. So it is at this point that I give you ultim ultimato, yes? You leave, you run, you take your earnings from this job and you go back home. And my associates back home will not kill you, your loved ones, your loved ones, puppy dog, your loved ones, puppy dogs, loved ones. Or I would also make sure not to, you know, notify a certain doctor that you might be suffering from a sickness of addiction. Uh, Make me a... Persuasion with advantage. Come on. I'm also going to... Yeah, that works. I'm also going to say this as well. Something I haven't really been doing for these, but I want to start doing it. Because they work quite well in... Uh, the Sunday games. Waffleberg? Because of this whole idea of realizing to pull rank on these guys, give yourself an inspiration point. Sweet. <laughs> so, they look to each other, it's like, you know what, it's probably better. Just, the boss can deal with them. The boss can do what they want. It's not worth our lives for this. Never worth your lives. And this guy, here, We'll actually pull out a small little radio. And those that are in combat with others at the moment, you'd see them pull out was as well, because it just like comes a bit staticky. It's like, we're pulling out for now, get back to caravan. Why? I'm trying to slap this little shit down here, but it keeps dodging. Yeah, but with. Not my fault. Turns out they're in league with uh, one of them, the uh, Cam Baron. Oh, fuck. He'll just look down to you, Kuiper. You should have said you're in league with a Cam Baron. Uh, <laughs> tries just, to hide the blank expression. <laughs> mind if I just step <laughs> around you here so I can, uh, you know... Uh, <laughs> Just splits off rocket around it. <laughs> Pretty much. Just stares him down as he goes. Uh, Waffleberg. As there is just slowly yeah. trudging away from you. You do hear something come over the radio. Uh, Patu, you'd hear this as well. Actually, everyone else, Maria, Patu, and Kaper, make me perceptions. Let's see if you can pick up on this. Waffleberg definitely would as... He's in the building with the main guy. It's not a high DC, so it's fine. Yep, you all hear this. You all hear of the comms. Uh, there might be a bit of a problem with that. What, what do you mean? 
well, we don't know if this was with him or not, but there was a small poro wearing a hat. And, uh, yeah, we've kind of beat the shit out of it. It's just kind of laying there prophetically. Leave it, leave it in the snow. We will fix it. I didn't even know they followed us. Give it, give it some sort of compensation. I don't know. Give it your left boot. Okay. So with that, they all flee. They all um, just leave their left boot. Pinko now mind. has a boot. Yeah, there is just a boot next <laughs> to Pinko now. And we will end it there for this week. We'll have next week when Racker is back with us, hopefully. We'll have Racker roll his first death save. So remind me on that, someone. But, I mean, we're no longer. Are we still in combat? Uh, technically, no, but death saves will still go off every so often until okay. they are brought until, until they stabilize. Yeah. So I, I was I was just making sure that we weren't still in combat. Yeah. No. Pretty much, cool. you've watched all these guys in the village trudge off. Yeah. Uh, before leaving the building, Waffleberg will button. stuff the necklace back inside of his coat. Uh, Waffleberg. Do you think you hear some angry shouting from up here, like beyond? Oh, probably. <laughs> so, yes, we will end it there for this week. Cool. Because it's been two and a half hours. It seems like a nice good time as well. So Very much done. Yep. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this week, and we will see you all next time. I had to do the Dion noise because she's not here. <laughs> no, you, no, no. You get back to Saturday. You'll... No! I haven't been there for a while. I need to come out of the <laughs>